All right, please like and subscribe for notifications on this game mode. All right, this is called One Way Out. I know it's sped up super fast, but in this game mode, your students or you, or you and your students will have to go through a spaceship uh, shooting and uh, destroying these plant monsters, collecting green key cards, and going through different stages in order to exit the ship. So this is called One Way Out. You could potentially um, be knocked out and be sent back to the very beginning of the ship. And at this beginning of the ship, you can actually buy different um, uh, gadgets in order to uh, destroy the plant monsters along the way. When you're collecting the key cards, as you see, uh, I purchased a portal as well. And uh, that helps me get to the next stage a little bit quicker. But still, each stage has its own trials and things like that. Uh, when you're collecting these key cards, make sure that when you see a key card reader to just deposit your key cards into it. And that will allow you all to quickly get to the next stage. If you get knocked out during this game mode by a plant monster or knocked out by a laser or something, you will lose all your key cards and all your cash. You get cash from uh, destroying uh, plant monsters. You can get key cards that randomly drop from the plant monsters as well. But if you are uh, knocked out, then you will lose that. So make sure that when you do have a chance to deposit, to deposit those key cards into the machine. Uh, the hardest thing about me playing through this mode, as you can see, I was getting knocked out multiple times. The laser system is crazy. You get hit by the laser one time and it's a wrap for you. So this is me playing through the entire mode. And I have my own difficulties on this mode a little bit. I mean, it looks easy because I have it on the easiest setting. It's, it's, this is on beginner setting along with uh, high health. So my health is really high and I'm, I, I'm on the easiest mode, which means that the plant monsters actually uh, will miss sometimes when they're aiming and uh, things of that nature. It doesn't really change too much of the, the idea behind it, but these lasers are no joke. <laughs> I, I, I'm not f uh, fond of the lasers. So what you just saw me do was I ran back, right? Um, as you go through this mode, uh, if you get knocked out, but then you try to skip ahead to the next stage, there could be a potential that you won't have enough key cards to go to the to the next uh, part of the uh, stage because of the key card reader. You have to have a certain number of key cards, and they increase as you go, and they also increase with the number of players who are actually playing the game. So if you are by yourself, uh, the numbers are kind of low, like 10, 12, whatever, and you'll be uh, able to kill the plant monsters pretty easily or knock them out very easily if it's on easier an easier mode. Right here are special boss plant monsters, which take a long time to uh, knock out. And here, here go these lasers again. I really, I mean, I, I like the lasers, but I don't like the lasers. Like, I can understand, like, you know, when playing a game, you know, people will get knocked out with the lasers and, you know, they'll, they'll enjoy themselves regardless. But the fact of the matter is when you get knocked out and you lose everything, those lasers, you know, I have to be real careful. I have to be willing to wait. Tell your students to be patient with those things. And sometimes you might think that you made it through. You think you can just run through the whole thing. But because of lag or something like that, the lasers will still get you even though you feel like you ran through. As you can see, I got knocked out by a laser again. And the thing about it is because you lose everything and getting, you know, killing plant monsters or knocking them out uh, gets you the cash and key cards and stuff, you'll have to knock them, you know, get these plant monsters knocked out again and again. So that's another challenging piece there. All right, what you're seeing here is me on the final part of stage three. Putting in those key cards, trying to get through. It's a little laggy, but it's all right. I'm running through there. Uh, I, I have my slingshot, you know, uh, I, I tried all the different things, the different modes, and, I mean the different uh, gadgets, and this is the final, final boss of the giant wall. Now this took me about 20 minutes to get through, it'll take your students about 20 minutes to get through. Um, it could take a little bit more if, if, you're, if you're first time, it's your first time doing it, but this is a fun way for them to play and not be competing against each other. And it's not like, you know, farm chain or fishing, like growing stuff. But anyway, thank you so much for your time, man. It's, it's an enjoyable game mode. 
it's not as um, overwhelming as I thought in my first impression. Uh, if you're playing through it for the game, it's cool. If you're playing through it to read the story and to understand the lore, uh, that might be a little more um, challenging. And I look forward to explaining lore in another video uh, of this. Just the different things that are there. There are uh, ship logs and things like that. Um, and, and different things that your students could uncover along the way. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and like and subscribe. Let me uh, know that you're interested and I will happily make that video. Thank you so much for your time and enjoy the rest of your day, guys.